All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover some terminology that you should be familiar with. So, although you're probably already aware of quite a lot of this, there's a lot that you're not gonna be aware of at this stage of your learning, but we'll cover it anyways. You don't necessarily need to memorize it, um, but it will be important to know as you progress in your study. So just take it, take this video as, let me just put these words into my brain somewhere such that when I hear them or read about them going forward, that you know i might be able to recall something from it so all right so it's going to be I'll, i'm going to go through it in a very basic manner just in a way as an introduction and if you want to you can go yourself and do some googling and get go down some rabbit holes so okay so let's start with one that hopefully you're familiar with which is impedance this is probably the main terminology now in your first year of electrical engineering you would have studied resistance but impedance is probably the main terminology that you you'll get used to and you should be using or you will use frequently. So impedance, the actual definition of it is the voltage to current ratio, meaning that impedance, which we denote with a Z, is voltage over current, okay? And obviously it's measured in ohms. That should be one that you're familiar with by now, doesn't need too much uh, going into. Let's move on. All right, I'm going to blow your mind with this one. This one's admittance. So you may have not have heard of this by now. But that's okay. Admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. We denote admittance with Y, since, you know, impedance is Z, so admittance is Y. And since it's the reciprocal, it's just V over I flipped, which is I over V, so current over voltage. And we actually measure admittance in something called Siemens, which is, you know, the famous company that you would have heard of. And we use Siemens is, you know, symbol for Siemens is S. So that's all you need to know for that. Just keep it in your head. Admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. All right, here's one you definitely never heard of, resistance. So hopefully you all know by now, resistance is equal to V over I. So what's the difference between resistance and impedance? Let's go through the actual definition of it. So resistance is impedance. And this is actually why I started with impedance first. You might have thought I would have started with resistance. Um, so resistance is impedance in a circuit where there's no energy stored. So here, if I've got a, a battery source, a voltage source here, and I've got a resistance here. So obviously there's no energy stored in this circuit. You've just got electrons flying with current going this way and back. So there is no energy stored in this circuit. And same as impedance, resistance is measured obviously in ohms. Hope you're all familiar with resistance. So here's one probably covered already, reactance. And I can see how it all might get a bit confusing, especially when you've got impedance, resistance, admittance, reactance, there's a load of ounces, but don't worry about it. So reactance is impedance in a circuit in which energy is stored. So resistance is impedance in the circuit where there's no energy stored. Reactance is impedance in the circuit where energy can be stored. So reactance is denoted with X. You may have seen, for example, XC or XL in your studies so far. The so reactance is denoted with X and reactance is X is equal to V over I. And same as impedance and resistance, it's measured in ohms. Cool. All right, and we've got two more now. So conductance is a term that definitely you've heard, but you might not know what it means. So to explain conductance, I'm just going to take admittance and bring it back. bring it back into focus. All right, so keeping admittance here, conductance is admittance of a circuit in which no energy is stored. Admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. We're going down, we're going down some rabbit holes here, right? So admittance is the reciprocal of impedance, right? Impedance is the voltage to current ratio. Admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. And conductance is admittance of a circuit in which no energy is stored. Okay, so I can put admittance away now. All right, so conductance is denoted with G. And the formula for it is I over V. The same as admittance, exact same formula. And likewise, it's me measured in Siemens and we use S for Siemens. All right, last one now and the world's most confusing video comes to an end. So you've got susceptance. Try saying that three times. Susceptance, susceptance, susceptance. <laughs> Even I missed it up. 
Okay, so to explain this one, I'm going to bring admittance back into the frame. All right, so again, impedance is the voltage to current ratio. Admittance is the reciprocal of impedance. Susceptance is the admittance of a circuit. So it's admittance, right? It's this thing here in which energy can be stored in an electric or magnetic field. So this is a weird one. We denote susceptance with the letter B. And the formula for it is I over V, so current over voltage. Again, same as admittance, it's measured in Siemens. And we denote that using S. And that's it. And that's it, guys. I mean, it really is that simple. I'm joking. It, it clearly <laughs> it isn't that simple, but it's fine. You know, you don't have to memorize any of this stuff. Just keep in your mind that we have impedance, we have resistance, we have reactance, we have admittance, we have conductance and susceptance. So, you know, I generally use the words interchangeably, often, all the time. And uh, you'll find a lot of people do that as well. But when you're reading a textbook, they're going to make sure that they're using the correct word. And also when you take a look at some websites as well, you'll see them refer to specific terminology. So if you ever need to kind of think, well, what is that? Hopefully now you've had a, a bit of an introduction to it. You can see, you know, for example, the conductance and the susceptance, they're actually the reciprocal of, resi of resistance. So you'll see that there are, you know, a lot of intertwining relationships between them. But like I said, don't worry about memorizing it. Just a quick introduction to it. I'm not going to be going into any more detail on these. So if you want, give it a Google. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.